people have spoken. And y'all want to know how we rig for flounder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tired of losing your jig heads with crappy fisherman knots? I may have got the solution for you. You probably heard of it, and it's called the polymer knot. Start off with your bite of rope or your bite of line. Make it kind of narrow because you're gonna go through the hook or the weight or to put it on. And you're gonna go through your hole with your uh, your rope. You're gonna trap it on there. So you're with it being through the hole. Trying to get this the best way and frame as I can get it. You're gonna basically just take this side and this side and just tie a basic overhand gram, granny knot, right? All right. So once you tie that granny knot, here's a zoomed-in image on what it's gonna look like. So you can see really clearly that's just a basic little knot right there. You've got this loop on this side. We're gonna put our weight or our hook through that loop, okay? Like this, guys. All right, once it's through that loop, you can just pull it tight. Kind of get it all lined up and kind of just pull it straight so it doesn't tangle itself. But you're kind of just trapping that, uh, that hook or that weight down in there. There you go. So there you have it, the polymer knot. All right, folks, and whenever you got your knot tied, go to your bait. And the baits we like to use are Gulp Alive. So what I would say on a, on a windy day, on a bad windy day, you would want to go with more of a darker color. So this new penny, this new penny works great on bad windy days. You will catch fish. We can promise you to catch, promise you to catch fish. All right, and on a clear water day, you want to go with more of a natural bait. So... Anybody else personally doesn't like throwing six inch, but since there are monster fish out there, we I love I personally love throwing six inch mullet compared to a four inch bait. Anything could tear this up, but what's gonna hit this? You know, you never know. Mix up the odds a little bit. Big bait, big fish, guys. Big bait, big fish, and um, we got multiple baits. We got grub style curly tails. We got swimming mullet curly tails. We got any color you can think of. We got mud. Wow, that's a blooper. We got blooper. we got mud minnows. Mud, the mud minnow slash croaker works great. The nuclear chicken is one of the the hottest colors on the water right now because you take that dark color bait, mix it with that light color bait, and you can put it in any water clarity and catch fit guaranteed every time. And what a lot of people don't know is most of these gulps they glow, they glow. So when you're night fishing and you have no lights, don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it. These glows will get the job done. And um, also, with my personal experience, those uh, dual colored ones like he's got in his hand right now work great when you're fishing lights or up against bulkheads. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and most keys to flounder fishing are location, structure, and current. As long as you got a good location, some good structure on the bottom, and current moving through. Guaranteed to catch fish. Yeah. Sometimes you can catch them right up against a bulkhead. Yep. Um, along the rocks, along the sandy beaches, on oyster beds, you can catch flounder anywhere. One of my favorite go-to baits, and I'm gonna show you how to rig it up, is the the six-inch swimming mullet. Um, I'll rip that pack. I guess I'll just. Let me see. The six-inch swimming mullet is my go-to bait. Why? Because nine times out of ten, I tournament fish. So I need that them bigger fish. So when bigger fish comes a bigger bait. Get out all the way. That's it's a, a big bait, guys. It's a pretty big bait. And we like to use, throw these Berkeley Fusion jig heads because um, I'm gonna explain to you why right exact now is because see, why right exact now is because see this barb right here. See that barb? Yeah. Okay. You come over here and you hook you on a regular old jig head. And this is what's going to happen. 
you're going to hook you on your jig head. You're going to run it through. You're going to start catching fish. And look, it's going to slip. It slips every, right out. Every time. And you, you're, you're wasting money. You're wasting lures. Wasting but, gold. But when you come to these, these uh, Berkeley Fusion jig heads, let me show you something. It's probably going to ruin this lure. But Not a sponsor, guys, but we definitely love it if you're at Berkeley's out there watching. Just run it through. Let me show you something. Stuck. Not coming off. Stuck like glue. That extra barb just grabs that gulp. And all you do is make a good cast along bulkhead, the sandy bottom structure in the outside of current because everybody knows fish are on the outside of current waiting for that bait fish to ambush. You just run it off the bottom. You know, every now and then give it a bounce. But flounder, they're an ambush predator. So you basically just put a bait in front of them and they will hit it. And another thing a lot of people mess up is it's better to, I, I personally think that it's better to use a heavier weight because where are the flounder guys? They're on the bottom. Yep. So when, if you're using a really light jig head, something, you know, as you're reeling it up closer to the boat, it's that it's getting into the middle of that water column. You're not on the bottom no more. You're not going to catch those flounder. So we, we like to use a little bit heavier, like these half ounce jig heads, just to this keep that a, bait on the bottom as much as possible. From three fourths to half ounce to one ounce jig heads, anything that will keep your bait on the water. And we do talk about current a lot because current is what really the main key right to us catching fish when it's dead silent i mean we're normally not catching fish but um we haven't yeah. had too many bad days using gold no nah, no bad days at all this shit ain't no joke